What is going on guys? This is Fran from the BI Forums, and in this Armor 3 video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the add-on free Armor Radio script, which is a script that I've made for Armor 3, and I've released it on the Armorholic website, BI Forums, and Steam Workshop. It comes with very easy installation instructions, but a lot of you can't read, so that's why I'm making this video. So what we're going to do is go into this PC, go into My Documents, and then here we're going to have to focus on one of these two folders. If you have never created a custom profile in Armor 3, then most likely you're going to have to go into this Armor 3 folder in your My Documents folder. If this folder does not exist, then it's pretty self-explanatory that this is the folder that you have to go into. But a lot of you can't figure that out, so I'm confirming for you that this is the folder that you probably need to go into. And then you go into the Missions folder, and then you would simply okay, and just click and drag this folder into that folder. Alright. But that's not really how we're going to explain the installation of this script. It's a little bit more, there's a little bit more into it. So what we're going to do is, let's say we have a custom made profile. It doesn't matter if we do or do not, but for the simplicity of me explaining it, because I do have a custom profile, we go into the Armor 3 Other Profiles folder. And then we find our custom profile that we, that we often use. And we go into the Missions folder in there. And here's all the missions I edit in Armor 3. These are all missions that can be edited, not really played. I mean, you can play them, you can export them to multiplayer, export them to single player, and these are basic, this is basically a list of missions that you can edit. You can play them, you can edit them, whatever. So anyway, let's go into this folder right here. Like, uh, well, you could either just drag this demo mission over, or let's, let's pretend, let's pretend that this folder right here, the AFAR demo here, is actually Invade and Annex. Let's pretend that. Let's go into, this is going to be ex trying to explain it in a situation where you're trying to just put this script into your mission. You're not trying to play the fucking demo. No one wants to play the goddamn demo. But I'm just saying that if this is going to show you how to install the script into your mission. Or whatever fucking mission you're trying to modify to include this radio script. So anyway, let's pretend this is Invade and Annex, blah blah blah, okay, great. We go into the, we open up, obviously the zip file, add on Free Armor Radio. This is the October version, 0 0.7. And in there, we have a folder. Let's double click on that, and in there we also have another folder. So we're gonna drag this AFAR folder into the folder that, of the mission that we wanna edit. This is the main folder of that mission, by the way. So let's pretend this is the Invade and NX folder, mission folder, whatever. And I know that it probably has like 30 fucking folders, but just add AFAR as yet another folder into that mission main directory, and that's it. Next thing you gotta do is there's an init.sqf in there. And you just fucking copy this one line, and then you just paste it into this init.sqf. Somewhere, it could be anywhere, it really does not matter at all where the fuck you put this in your init.sqf. And we have the description.ext. And we're just going to copy and paste all this shit to make it easy. Copy and paste everything from the description.ext, at least from this point on. From these uh, hashtags all the way down. And I'll explain a little bit about that in a second. There we go. We already, I'm going to assume that this shit, you know, the, the basic whatever the little settings that you have in your description that you see what it doesn't none of that shit is really necessary for the script to work so i'm going to just assume that you guys have your own little setup it's not specific to that at all all right so we're just pasting the this this description stuff right here and that's that also if you're like i don't know what to paste it's you know <laughs> download the file Watch the video as you're fucking doing what I'm doing. I don't know. I'm not putting this shit in the description. YouTube won't even let me because the certain symbols are not allowed or, and stupid shit like that. But anyway, so that's that. You copy and paste basically the hashtags into the description.exe. This uh, class CFG sounds. Basically, this is the only thing that's really relevant in this CFG sounds. If this is already defined, if CFG sounds is already defined in your mission in the, in the description.exe, just add this. Hashtag whatever before the this thing the sounds bracket equals squiggly brackets hopefully that makes sense and then we're def this is optional this the CFG remote XX shit in a mission like S Invade and Annex it might be mandatory I don't know uh, some missions prohibit 
some different mods and different missions prohibit the use of remote exec freely, so sometimes you have to define what is allowed within the confines of remote exec, and hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, so we just define this shit right here. It's a bit more complex. I'm not going to explain it, but there you go. That's, that's the init that SQF done and the description.exe done. This logo.paa is not needed at all. It's just for the demo so that I can have a fucking picture on the Steam Workshop for the script. It's not necessary at all. And honestly, that's it. But now, this, that's all you need to do to install this radio script into your mission. But you want to configure it. Almost everyone wants to configure it. So what we're going to do is go into the cfg.sqf inside of the AFAR folder. So let's pretend this is the Invade Nanex folder, you know, mission folder. We go into our AFAR folder inside of that folder. And now we have a cfg.sqf right here. That's basically the configuration folder. So you can edit this with a fucking notepad or notepad plus plus, whatever the hell you want. It's gonna tell me that for some reason, but I'm just gonna double click it and that works. And all right, so to explain, I have comments here to explain what these things do, so I'm not going to really explain too much. We're just going to talk about some of the new features that I've added. So obviously, this stuff I would not, I really do not recommend changing this shit because, I mean, you can. I would, if you want to make them true, true, go ahead. But making them false, false, I don't know what the results would be. So basically, the first value in and these and these settings. There's, there's two values in, in the brackets here, in the array. You have either, uh, this is both Boolean values. So it could be false, true, true, false, true, true, false, false, whatever the fuck you want. Hopefully you understand though that it means that this is for chat and this is for voice. So, so for example, support channel does not allow people to type in that channel, but you can talk in that channel. And direct chat, for example, down here, does not allow you to type in the channel, but allows you to talk. And then there's other channels like Vehicle, which allows you to type and talk. And you get the idea. Anyway, that's that. I, like I said, I don't recommend messing with these settings, but I'm sure some of you will just make them all true true or whatever. If you make them all full, full, false false, then the whole purpose of the script is retarded and a waste of space. But anyway, then we have this short range, radio, max range, is by default set to 2,000, and the max long range radio range is 6,000. That's the default. You can adjust this however the hell you want. I would just recommend that you keep the short range radio less than the long range radio. It's not necessary, but it would make more sense. Anyway, then we have the CEAFAR value or variable here. And this is going to be a true or false value. By default, it's true. If it's true, that means that the 3D radio will pop up when you, when you press, your t press the talk key. When, and only you see that radio, by the way. You're the only player who can see that radio that pops up uh, when you press the push the talk thing. It's just a cosmetic client-side little pop-up thingy when you're talking. And that's it. If you don't like that, then you just change the CA far value to false, and that will never happen again. It will never pop up again, unless you change it back to true. Then we have an AFAR. This is the animation, this is the value, variable that handles the, whether the animation will play when you're pressing the push to talk button. So disabling this will be good also because it will fix a bug for now that exists with this script that I'm having issues with. But anyway, I'm not going to talk too much about that. But anyway, by leaving it enabled, your guy will basically grab, he'll, he'll grab his radio when he's talking. When the player is talking, his character will like do this like little gesture where he, his hand touches his radio and stuff. It's not necessary, but I thought it was cool, so I threw it in the script. You can disable it if you want by setting it to false, or just leave it on by not touching it and leaving it untrue. Then we have this other new function or variable that we have here, R alert on, which basically this is a variable that handles whether the AI near you get alerted when you are talking. So within about 9 to 15 meters while a player is talking, AI near them, if they're enemies, will become alerted. If this value, value is set to true. If it's set to false, then that won't happen. And that's that. Do not worry about this shit right here. I seriously do not recommend at all that you touch this. Do not touch it. Just don't. 
All right. Anyway, that's that. That's the best I can explain it for now. It should fucking work for you. That's it's a very simple instruction thing. I know this is a long video of me trying to explain it, but I want to not have to remake this fucking video. So anyway, hopefully the video was helpful. If it was great, like it. If it wasn't helpful, or if it, you just need a little bit more extra help, just post in the comments section. Ask me questions. I will respond, and I will try to give you good answers that help you finish the job. Anyway, have fun and frank out.